old one-two. So quick, one after the other. That must have been the sweetest of connections because the shot absolutely zipped into the net. Now, he's hit it hard and he's hit it early. I think that's the difference. He's caught... Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 92 and today I have a brand new episode of my National Squad Builder series and as you can tell by the title of the video and the name of the squad that is of course could be Morocco and we are running the 4-5-1 formation pretty much because the Moroccans have such a good midfield lads, they're so skillful and so strong and uh, strong offensively, I just wanted to have as many people in midfield as possible if I could I'd probably run the 4-6-0 <laughs> but sadly we can't do that so let's get into the, the first player of this squad and that's going to be the goalkeeper and that's going to be Amzif uh, he's he pretty, he is pretty bad lads, I'm not going to try and deny and say he's good and just, so he's go out and try him, he is, he, but he is a lot better than all our silver Moroccan goalkeeper because he was absolutely outrageous, so I picked him up first and went and bought the other one thinking okay he's got to be better and but, but he wasn't, so yeah Amzif was definitely the best of the bad bunch, I'd give him about a 2 out of 10 lads to bit uh, in the overall good standards, the right backs is just going to be Ami from the exact same as last year lads, there's absolutely no difference between his last year card, he is the only Moroccan right back so there is sometimes some uh, price fixing going on but to be honest he is a very strong offensive player he's also got high attacking work rate which doesn't seem that good for a, a 68 centre uh, right back but he does seem to do a lot offensively and he's got a good crosser I think he's got like 70 curve or something like that so he's a good uh, crosser of the ball and the next player is going to be Ben Benata, I think that's pronounced, Benata, I don't know I'm not going to be able to pronounce a lot of these players names lads because they're absolutely crazily named but as you can see there I just show up the first highlight of this squad and that's a nice little header absolute rose tall and that's exactly what kind of player he is if it, this squad would really suffer if he wasn't there he's so good offensively and there's a lot of talk about in foothead and a lot of forms speaking about this guy and how good he is and i actually picked him up for 650 coins on an open bid which is absolutely insane for the player of that caliber it's better in his partnership with his uh the other center back he's the exact same pair as last year's lads and the exact same FIFA 12, I loved them in FIFA 12 and I absolutely loved them in this year, here he is again, I could not see his name, uh, last year I attempted it and he's absolutely butchered me in the comments, so this year I'm not going to do it and he's rated 68 pace wise, 72 defending, 71 head and he's also got high defensive work rate and low offensive work rate, the same with Benny, so they've got a great defensive partnership, the left back is someone that was not in my squad last year and someone that really really did surprise me to be honest because I was not expecting much from the left back position because if you can remember last year's uh, squad that was the definitely weak spot of the squad but this guy came in he's got 88 pace he's got high offensive work rate and medium defensive work rate which isn't always what I always go for but somehow his pace is so quick even though it says 88 feels like he's sort of got Lennon pace or World Cup pace he's so quick and so good in this game the one thing I would say about him lads is his strength isn't that great I think I was playing uh, against Abrahamovic and he just pushed uh, the left back off the ball and the, the guy rolled almost off the park the next player is going to be the first 5 star skiller of the squad and that's going to be a sorry pace on him, 69 shooting, very very strong player and he's also got 84 dribbling of course because he's got 5 star skill moves, very very fun player, I think you've got to play like 3k or something for him in the left midfield position because he's originally a left wing position but to be honest he's definitely worth the coins for, only 3k for a, a very very good uh, 5 star skiller with a great long shot and you cannot complain too much about that the centre mid is going to be a man from the SBL and that is going to be a uh, Taquil I think that's pronounced, Taquil, I don't know anyway he was very good in last year there's a lot of hype about him and this year he's just I wouldn't say he's as dominant as last year he's definitely not as strong but I picked him up in the centre mid position just to sort of be the, like, the midnight anchor and let the 4 other players in the midfield race up front he was just sort of always down defensively He's not. you'll never see him uh, in the opponent's box which is kind of handy, now let's get and speaking to the next player and this is going to be my most expensive player he's got 5 star skill moves he has an 83 rate in form cannot say his name but as you've seen he scored the first goal at the very start of this video which was absolutely insane and he could just score goals a lot of the time there was like 3 that was kind of similar to that like flicking analog stick over and hitting volleys his volleys is so good in this game but I didn't want to bore you because I only try and show like one highlight per player and here was another nice one that was a nice um, sort of like uh, build up play just a flick down by my striker and he was there just to hit the overhead kick he's definitely by far the best player in this squad which is quite a surprise when you look at the centre attacking mid player I've got which is around the same price uh, he cost me 75k I think his price has actually gone up but speaking about the next player 
Um, going to shove in there, and that's going to be a bell hander. I absolutely love these team of year cards last year, which was absolutely insane. If you can remember, I had them in my, I think it was a sort of hybrid with the Dutch league. But yeah, bell handers, four star weak foot and four star skill is definitely very makes him a very fun player to play with, lads. Definitely pick him up only for 750 coins. Next player is going to be Tarat. Now, quickly, lads, I'm going to have to say I did do a massive mistake here. I actually had. I recorded a squad because I normally do it after like five or six games when I sort of know what I'm going to say but then his inform came out so I bought that and then I played like three games with that so I have actually tried to inform lads before you say where's his inform this record was done before the inform but I have went and tried to inform in the squad also but everyone else was already uh, made by that and I thought I had recorded it by that time with the inform so that was my bad lads but he's informed there's not too much difference between his uh, inform and his original card don't believe the hype lads his normal card is so insanely overpowered and it's just amazing so save yourself like 60k and just buy his original card and be very very happy <laughs> now the striker is going to be oh I cannot say this name either let's just call him M Ham. that's what I was calling him anyway he's just a great finisher He's, I think he's six foot two, six foot one. He's very good in the air. You saw me doing that knockdown. Uh, oh, he's actually six foot. So basically, I, I took two guesses and failed quite drastically. <laughs> anyway, uh, as you seen another highlight for my right mid, he's good at doing the little knockdowns of his head. Even though it does say he's only got fifty eight heading, that's a complete lie. You can just whip balls into him and he'll always win the heading. So the price of the squad lads was ninety uh, k on the PlayStation price. If you're picking up the inform, Tarat like added, uh, but I didn't record the squad. It was such an idiot mistake. Uh, it was 150k because he, well, he was like 70k or something at that time. The best player is going to be Benny and Boo, the right midfield player and the centre back. Uh, the overall verdict of the squad is going to be the same as last year, lads. 9 out of 10. If I had a lot more strength in the sort of midfield position, it would be a 10. As always, Avid CGNovo92. Thank you for watching and bye bye.